Hi, I'm Steve Evans from Oakwood Homes Prestige and Country. Um, welcome to Pastoral Farm. I'm going to take you inside now to the farmhouse and show you around the buildings and the outbuildings and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the gardens and so on. So this is the farmhouse and uh, without further ado, let's go in. So the farmhouse is interesting to say the least, but the heart of the home is this beautiful kitchen, family kitchen diner with log burner, um, which is in the center there. We've got triple bifold doors which open out onto the formal gardens. And we've got this massive, beautiful family space. Fully fitted kitchen, as you would expect, high quality, um, with a center island and had a, uh, induction hob, sorry, and integrated appliances. Double oven, integrated fridge and freezer, dishwasher, and low slung lights for your dining area. Three. Okay, so as we come out from the kitchen uh, family room, you come back into the entrance hall, beautiful log burner, and it's a nice open space because what happens is that it then goes round the corner via the downstairs cloakroom into a viewing gallery and the viewing gallery is just magnificent but of course it takes advantage of these easterly views which the whole house has been designed to, to uh, benefit from. This could be used as a library, it could be used as a sitting area or a music area um, but whatever you use it for it really is stunning stunning space and those views really are quite magnificent across the valley. So from the viewing area you come through into this snug lounge. Um, you've got again another wood burner. I would point out that we've got radiator because we do have oil fired central heating throughout the property. Um, lovely room, um, off it leads the stairs upstairs, so I think we should go and have a look. Oh, as we come upstairs, at the top of the stairs to the right is a double bedroom. It could be a master bedroom because it has got the ensuite in here, but it's also got uh, French doors out onto the flat roof, which could create a balcony area. And again, it just looks out over the valley. Uh, absolutely beautiful. There's an ensuite in this room, which is an ensuite shower room, and again, as I say, it's a guest suite. It could be a main bedroom if you wanted it as such, but um, it's it's a versatile house. It's a beautiful house. So as you come into the master bedroom, the first thing you see is that it's an absolutely enormous light and airy space. Um, triple aspect, so you've got windows to both sides and then at the end of the room you'll see in a moment we have a Juliet balcony with French doors which you can open in the summer um, and have lots of air flowing through. You've also got this boutique hotel style freestanding bath and tap arrangement and then through the door we've got the ensuite with WC shower and wash hand basin. So a really enormous space. And here's the ensuite to the master in addition to that lovely uh, freestanding bath. You've got the shower, the loo and the uh, basin. So in addition to the three bedrooms upstairs, you've got a lovely family bathroom. You've got family bathroom, two bedrooms ensuite. This bathroom again has freestanding bath, freestanding taps, WC wash hand basin. A nice, nice finish again. Okay, so from this viewing area, we've got a little surprise through here. We've actually got interconnecting doors, door either side, lockable from both directions. And through here, 
is what I understand the previous owners used as an Airbnb, but again, it could be an annex. So there's lots of versatility and flexibility in pastoral farm. So coming through, you come through into this studio room. In here, there's space for a dining table, space for a bed, there's a kitchen area, and it has its own separate entrance. Lovely space, I'm sure you'll agree, and lots of flexibility, even if it's just as a guest suite. In addition to this, there is a very special bathroom. So the bathroom is a four-piece bath suite, beautiful walk-in shower cubicle, lovely floating wash hand basin, and WC obviously, and this beautiful freestanding bath with freestanding uh, tap system, and again, that view, and it really is for the bath with a view. So, just across the way from the main house is Stable Cottage. Now, Stable Cottage is another opportunity for an Airbnb or an annex. It's a single storey, uh, single skin dwelling with two bedrooms, a bathroom and again a studio lounge kitchenette area. So without further ado, if we take a look inside and I'll be able to show you exactly what's going on. So as you come into Stable Cottage, first room is this studio room. Um, what you've got is fitted kitchen with fridge, oven, hob and dishwasher but it's a living room as well as the kitchen so you've got a wood burning stove and obviously radiators because there is a central heating system which is off the oil tank from across the road. There's double French doors which lead out to a patio and there are steps up from that to a private parking area so it's completely self-contained potentially as a holiday lane. So as I said there are two bedrooms in uh, Stable Cottage. This is the first one, which is a double. Uh, the second one is a single. We're going to go and have a look at that now. So bedroom one and bedroom two. So the bathroom is a three-part bathroom. There's a hip bath with shower over, a heated towel rail, pedestal wash hand basin and So, these are the steps that lead up to the car parking area for Stable Cottage. And obviously, as I said, you've got the deck down below. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you round to the main house and show you the garden there. So here we are in the formal garden. It's on the opposite side of the house from the stables and the, and the um, orchard. Um, and in the formal garden, we've got this large patio area outside of the uh, bifold doors. We've got an ornamental pond. And as you can see, we've got a lot of mature planting and it's a wonderful time of year because the leaves are in fall. Um, but the garden is quite extensive. And as we go further down, it does become more and more heavily wooded and joins in with the wooded copse which protects the side of the property. So if we wander down, we'll have a look at a few of the um, various features we've got. So in addition to the pond, we've got this brick-built pergola. Um, and obviously at some point there was a treehouse lookout um, on covering an old stump um, and formal lawns. And then a gate up to the paddock area, which is another paddock, which I'll show you in a moment. And then this little outbuilding here, which is three brick built garden stores. Um, then as we wander further down, you can see it starts to become more and more heavily wooded. So you've got about a hundred feet of formal garden, and then you've probably got the same, if not more of uh, a little wooded copse, which is really, really lovely with wildlife and the birds and so on and so forth. But what we'll do, I'm going to take some aerial footage of that to show you exactly where it runs and what the extent is. So 
We'll go and have a look at this other paddock, um, which is on this side of the, of the road, same side as the, as the farm. So, we've got the little uh, brick-built uh, garden sheds and then this gate which leads through to this other paddock I was telling you about. And this amounts to approximately three quarters of an acre. Um, it has stock fencing all the way around. And again, it has a gate at the top and there's a water trough and so on. So ideal perhaps for winter grazing. I think the farm, given that it's four and a half acres plus this, uh, this field here, which is about three quarters, would, would comfortably house three horses over winter um, with the correct sort of uh, grazing rotation. Okay, so we've got the triple stable block. And then just around the corner here is parking for um, a trailer or a horse box um, or anything you need. And we've got a really useful barn. Okay, so that completes our video tour of Pastoral Farmhouse. We're on the market at £1.3 million. I'm Steve Evans from Oakwood Homes, Prestige and Country. Thank you for joining me today. If the property is something that you wanted to have a physical viewing on, then we'd be delighted to uh, talk to you. You can either contact us via the website, which is www.oakwoodhomes.biz, or you can call us on 01843 808 921. As I say, thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again soon.